So my name is Anton, and I have a couple, two questions exactly for you. And one of them is, do you have any practical advice for getting past bad habits, like addictions, for example, like sex? But I, I, know, I know there's like a whole like treasure trove of advice on these things, but I can't seem to find something that, um, you know, that I can actually put into use that I'm not lazy about it. You know, maybe it's just me, but I don't know. So that's my f first question, I guess. Mm -hmm. Well, habits are difficult for that very reason. I mean, there's no easy answer. It could take you lifetimes to change your bad habits. I mean, hopefully it doesn't, and it depends on you how intensive. The actual practice, uh, I mean, clearly it's, our point of view is it's simply the the um, the technique that we follow. But specifically for addiction, the Buddha did give certain advice and I've sort of you know, adapted it and pinpointed. And so I did this video that was actually a little bit probably too... I think it's a bit too long. But it exploded. That's one of my most popular videos. So if you look up pornography, if you haven't seen my video on pornography and masturbation, I think is... It's of course, you know, those keywords make it a very, very popular video. Mm -hmm. um, but basically what it says is there are three things um, that you have to focus on. And the, the Buddha actually mentioned these, these three as being uh, important. Anyone who is, is um, any teacher worth their salt should be teaching these three things. The first is the experience itself. You know the 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 physical seeing or hearing or smelling or tasting or feeling. You know. So if it's a physical pleasure, a physical you now physical contact, or if it's a seeing of something, you know, so, so sex, for example, if you see a beautiful woman. So the first thing is to focus on the seeing, to try and and experience the aspect that is just seeing. Forget about the rest of it. The second aspect is the feeling, pleasure. You know, with addiction it's going to be pleasure. It can sometimes be calm, so you have to watch out for that as well if you feel just calm, you know, peaceful. But either way, one or the other, there's going to be that feeling. So you have to try to focus just on that feeling. And the third one is the, the craving, the desire. So this can either be liking or wanting. It's either or. If you like something, Try to focus just on the desire, the liking of it. If you want something that you don't have, try to focus just on the wanting. Now the point is to to separate these three. Because the, the ordinary experience is to take it as one um, addiction, you know. Or one, let's say we take it as one experience. You see um, the object of your desire and there's the desire, and there's the, the pleasure involved, and, and wanting, and you say, oh my gosh, you know, here I go again. And you think of it as a thing, as a, an entity. And this is, this is the core problem. This is what, a part of what is meant by non-self, is that that's wrong. That, that's not just wrong, it's a problem. The problem is that you see it as a problem. You see it as a thing. You know, it's, it's atomic. Atomic the word atom means unbreakable, indivisible. And so atoms don't actually exist. This is the atom was proven to be made up of smaller things, so not actually atomic. No. Um, and this is the case with experience as well. It's made up of individual aspects, individual experiences. And if you can break it up into its constituent parts, it dissolves entirely. The problem disappears. So. All you have to do, and you can try this and you can see, it means stop seeing it as a problem, stop feeling guilty about it, stop analyzing it, stop you know, rationalizing or, or, or um, um, trying to fix the problem. Mm -hmm. Just look at the individual mind states based on these three things. The uh, experience, of seeing, you know, when you see something, try to say to yourself, seeing, seeing. When you feel something, feeling. When you feel the contact, the feeling, feeling. Uh, then try to focus on just the the feelings. When you have a, a, a pleasurable sensation, switch to the pleasure and say to yourself, 
have pleasure, pleasure, or happy, happy, or feeling, feeling, or calm, calm, if it's that's the case. And when the, when you notice the desire, switch that. Say to yourself, wanting, wanting, or liking, liking. In general, pick whichever one is most prevalent at any given moment, and that's going to change from moment to moment. So you have to be you have to be um, sharp, and you have to be systematic about it, moving. For, you have to be flexible jumping from one to the other. At the same time, what I didn't mention in that video, there's actually other things, again, not, not actually mentioned in this teaching of the Buddha. Guilt, you're going to have to actually focus on the guilt and be mindful of it. Guilty, or feeling, I guess, or, or frustrated, or so on. Sad, however it is. And thinking, so analyzing and, and obsessing and so on. You have to focus on thoughts as well. These are two other aspects of it that are are also important, but they're the ones that are going to obscure these other three. So if you cut through those two, you'll find underneath there are basically three things that you have to focus on. As you do that, you'll find yourself able to deconstruct the, the habit. It's simply a matter of doing that systematically, and that's the problem. That's why a teacher is important, a meditation center is important, intensive practice is important. You know, this is something that is quite deep and strong, you know, so you need something deep and strong or, or yeah, to counter it. Okay? Right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, it's a lot of advice to take in at one point. So uh, my second question, and I hope it's not too... Uh, Is it related? Um, it's, it's a bit different. It's about meditation. Okay, I'm going <laughs> to stop 